We started thinking about where can we grow furniture? Could we make furniture in a laboratory? Could we make it out of biological materials? Could we make furniture that you could eat? And all of these kinds of questions led us down this path of producing in novel materials different types of uh, seats or chairs that were completely a part of the Earth's metabolism. And that led to this particular chaise lounge, which is a chair grown from mushrooms on a bamboo rib system. And it's a chair that you can use for five, ten years, and when you're done with it, you throw it into a garden and it'll feed a thousand other forms of life completely biocompostable. Uh, we've been working in, in rethinking furniture literally from the ground up or literally growing it from the ground. The biodesign movement uh, basically admits that we can start thinking about organic architecture, but not your grandpa's version of organic architecture, which is Frank Lloyd Wright with glass, steel, and concrete and things that mimic nature or look like nature or have a relationship to nature. Instead, we actually want to use nature and tweak it or nudge it as it is into viable architectural products or constructions. And this is where we have that game-changing thing happening. This is actually a chair that you can eat. It's made out of mycelium or the root base of reishi. It's a mushroom that's grown in these sections uh, in a mold, then taken out after seven days and placed together and then caked on it is uh, acetobacter, or bacteria express cellulose, that you can actually grow in a bathtub. You can do this with a kind of kabucha tea, is the DIY version. The cellulose fuses with the mushroom structure, and you get this uh, really cool looking uh, chair that's meant as a chair for kids, because there was a realistic scale on how we can grow this stuff. The, the ultimate size of it is part of the constraints. So this does uh, take a lot of material to get to this size, but we thought it'd be perfect for kids in kindergarten. And if kids were on chairs that you can eat, chairs that you can throw into a garden and compost, we would think parents would start thinking that synthetic biology is pretty cool and is pretty safe. Another material is uh, mammalian cells, or basically meat. And can we grow that into a specific geometry? Yes. Can we make it into industrially designed products? such as belts or shoes or handbags. Yes. What's the advantage? Well, you're not killing any animals. You're reproducing these geometries made out of living tissue in a lab. Much different way of doing design than we've ever done in the past. It's not mimicking meat. It is meat. It's not mimicking mushrooms. It is mushroom. 